The lack of access to a stable supply of electricity is one of the largest impediments to sub-Saharan Africa's economic growth. This nighttime satellite image of Africa and Europe shows the marked difference in electricity output between the continents. The Uganda example is a case in point where an energy supply gap threatens poverty reduction and development efforts. As one of the three countries bordering Africa's Lake Victoria and home to the source of the Nile River, Uganda is rich in natural resources. Despite this, an acute electricity crisis is impacting the well-being and livelihoods of millions of Ugandans. Hospitals, schools, residences, and businesses suffer daily load shedding or rolling blackouts, while roughly 95% of Ugandans have no electricity at all. What percentage of Ugandans are affected by load shedding? My answer is 100%. 100% all Ugandans are affected by load shedding. Load shedding affects manufacturing. Load shedding affects jobs. If you can't manufacture, then the economy is affected, and therefore, all Ugandans are affected by load shedding. So the answer is 100%. In addition to its impact on the Ugandan quality of life, inconsistent power supply deters potential investments from abroad. It is estimated that the energy crisis has contributed to a decline in Uganda's gross domestic product growth to 5% in 2006 from 6% in previous years. The World Bank Group is working with Uganda to develop projects that support the country's least cost energy sector expansion strategy for the short medium and long term. And governments need to be able to have an organization such as the World Bank where they can come and where we can actually say, yes, this is a good project and we should be able to support governments in these good projects. And so I wanted to say that your concern for value for money is our concern. Your concern for an environmentally sound, financially and economically viable project is our concern. Among these projects is the Bujagali Hydropower Project, a 250 megawatt run of the river facility on the Victoria Nile that will reuse water flowing out from existing hydropower plants upstream in order to increase Uganda's electricity supply. Following a competitive bidding process, Bujagali Energy Limited a private company jointly owned by affiliates of Scythe Global Power and of the Aga Khan Fund for Economic Development, was selected to develop the Bujagali project with financing and investment guarantees from a consortium that includes the World Bank Group's IDA, IFC and MIGA, as well as commercial lenders. Uganda's uh, power demand is growing at uh, 10%, and therefore there is a need for which translates to about 30 megawatts per year. Hydropower has been proven, and in particular Bujagali, has been proven to be the least cost source of large power generation for Uganda. Thorough consultations with communities near the project site have contributed to key elements of Bujagali's sustainability plan, including the development by Bujagali Energy Limited of agricultural, fisheries and reforestation programs, as well as new water sources that directly benefit the communities. To offset Bujagali's environmental footprint, the government of Uganda agreed in 2001 to preserve and, where possible, enhance the natural habitats of Kalagala Falls, an area several kilometers downstream from the Bujagali site. Once operational in 2011, the Bujagali project will eliminate load shedding, allowing for increased productivity and improved investment climate, while at the same time 
helping to create jobs, in turn boosting economic growth and reducing poverty. The project will also lower the cost of electricity and substantially reduce the need for costlier thermal power, thus eliminating roughly 4.9 million tons of greenhouse gas emissions. The crisis is hitting businesses, it's hitting uh, consumers, and large businesses, which are probably more affected than most, have to use a generator. Using a generator means that you have to use heavy fuel oil. When you use heavy fuel oil, you have to import, and when you import, the costs are huge. Many Ugandans eagerly await Bujagali's commissioning. I kindly request, request to Aldi Bank to allow to allow our dam to be built to enable affected people and other Ugandans to get employment. Eruma bana Uganda bonna twetaga bujagali ezimbibwe okutandika no nako olwencha tetutaina bisera bilinda. The World Bank Group is committed to supporting the sustainability of the Bujagali project through financing and technical assistance and by working closely with Bujagali Energy Limited to ensure the bank group's environmental and social safeguard policies are closely followed to the benefit of the project affected and of all Ugandans. So we, we've, we've heard you very well. You, uh, you expressed yourselves very clearly and your concerns are well understood by us.